Number nine. But it now comes down to the final skater here in the ladies' free skate. Right now, Arena Slutskaya in the lead over Melina Knight and then Angela Nikodinov of the U.S. But here is Maria Butirskaya, the six-time Russian national champion, looking for her third gold medal in the Grand Prix of figure skating this season. Maybe even more important to her, though, trying to beat Arena Slutskaya. She has lost the last four matchups between those two. With a triple Lutz, double toe loop. Very nice. Triple Lutz is the hardest jump you can do. Of course, the triple axle harder. She now has the hardest jump in her program out of the way. Here is the triple flip. Very determined. Can I change my pick? <laughs> No, not allowed. This is Maria's third competition in four weeks. And she told us when we were in Paris at Trophy La Ligue that she didn't expect the judges to hold her up. 99 world champion but no longer of course the reigning world champion so she would have to earn everything that she gets this year so far she's doing that here in japan this is the hardest jumping sequence that she has first the triple toe loop half loop triple sow cow Ooh, pitching forward a little bit but still a tough combination landed Second triple Lutz in the program. Oh, she's really skating well. Slutskaya, Kwan, considered to be the three top names in ladies skating now. Slutskaya faced Michelle Kwan earlier. This is the first time that Maria Butirskaya is facing someone in her own elite level. Maybe there's a reason she's skating better than we've seen her all year. Slutskaya has just outskated Arena Slutskaya. Peter, for the first time all season, <laughs> you may have bet on the wrong horse. <laughs> Indeed, I did, and I'm very happy for Butcherskaya. A lot of pressure for her, but she clearly 
has skated the best in this competition. Yeah, without question, that's the best that we have seen. Put it this way, the best that we have seen all season long from Maria Butioskaya just took place here in Japan. Now, stranger things have happened in well, this sport, my friend. we must wait for the judges. Not sure that Maria Butioskaya can do much more than what she just did on the ice, but we will come back and check the decision of the judges to see who wins the gold medal here at the NHK Trophy in Japan. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The ISU Grand... Look at the Christmas lights here in the city of Asehikawa in northern Japan. We may be in the middle of the wilderness here, but this is a major city. Some 350,000 people live here, and they've got Christmas carols pumped in all over town. Don't forget, tomorrow night, the last game of the season on Monday Night Football, the Cowboys taking on the Titans live at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, right here on ABC. Back inside, Maria Butierskaya has yet to leave the ice after her performance. It comes down to a decision by the judges now. Will Butierskaya beat Arena Slutskaya for the first time in five matchups? Slutskaya looking very calm watching backstage. A very difficult combination here, or sequence of jumps. First, the triple toe loop, and she'll actually do a hop, a half a turn, and then go right up into a triple salco. It's hard because you have to press off that edge with one foot, and not a very good landing, but still, you have to appreciate the difficulty there. And then this, triple lutz, very nice. She's really using her knees, good rotation there, a good landing. Best I've seen her look. Marks for Maria Butierskaya, technical merit, 5A, 5 First set of marks for Maria Butierskaya, 5.6, wow, up to 5.9. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay with the higher marks here, but I certainly don't understand the 5.6, but the next marks will be more telling for sure. Presentation marks now. Five eights and five nine. Guess what? Oh. Guess what? Stranger things may have happened, but yeah, maybe this is the strangest thing we've seen this season, at least. Arena Slutskaya gets the nod from the judges, not Maria Butierskaya. Well, 5-4 split with the judges. Very close competition, but I still think Butierskaya was better. All around, jumping and artistically. So, the pick that you had before the competition began... That's <laughs> right, I had to go back again. Turns out to be right. You should have stuck to your guns. <laughs> and the winning streak...